Hello everyone and welcome to this first look live stream at Belsum Tech's F5E Tiger 2. So as most of you probably know, uh, Belsum Tech is the same uh, third party studio that is responsible for the MiG-15 BIS, uh, the F-86, the MI-8, and the UH-1. And from flying around uh, the F-5 for the past couple weeks or so, um, for me, this is by far uh, the most enjoyable, uh, best aircraft they've ever done. Uh, real joy uh, to fly, uh, great flight model, great systems, and uh, I do believe that more so than uh, their previous, you know, excellent work, I think this will probably be the most popular. It certainly is for me. And uh, flying this aircraft around really makes me uh, appreciate the job I get to do, and I guess balances out. Uh, the discussion forums for the most part. But anyhow, let's take a look at this aircraft for the first time. Uh, here we can see the external model. And uh, what are those F-18s doing there? Uh, one of the uh, different aggressor squadrons. And you know, down here you can see a, a bunch more of them. And uh, a beautiful model. But let's jump into the office. And here we are. Uh, inside the F5E cockpit. And let's take a look around. Uh, the uh, front dash is um, uh, pretty standard for this generation of aircraft. You know, we have your airspeed, altitude, you know, HSI, uh, backup ADI, uh, AOA, climb, uh, your radar display, which is a very basic system, your RWR, your engine, fuel, oil pressures. Um, you know, general uh, control for your different store stations, uh, your, obviously your throttle quadrant, radar control, um, your chaff and flare, and on this side you have your various lights, oh down here radio, uh, uh, warning panel, oxygen, and pretty straightforward. I'm going to take a look back around, nice little canopy, stations. So the actual process of starting up the F5E is super duper simple. Um, actually, we don't have the manual yet, not even a quick start. So even using just basic common sense and an understanding of uh, aircraft mechanics, I was even able to get this uh, aircraft up and running and up into the air. So the process I'm going to use is probably not the actual one that will be in the startup checklist, but at least for me, it gets the aircraft uh, up and running and doing what it's supposed to do. So um, again, this is by no means the, the final standard startup, but works for me. So this is how I do it. So we'll come down here to the uh, battery switch. We'll enable that. We'll put the left and right generators on. And then let's set up the radio. So go to manual manual here and I think Nellis is 254. Let me double check on that. Do, 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 do. Here. Do, 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 do. Yep, 254. Come back in. So let's set that up first. 254. Tone test. Squelch. Okay, that all sounds good. So the FIV does not a have an APU, so we're going to have to use a Hartford cart uh, to start uh, turning the turbines. So to do that, uh, let's first go ahead and talk contact tower and get permission to start up. Now you notice the uh, comms aren't black here just because uh, simply one aspect of the module, uh, the radios that is, that have not been fully implemented yet. So the radios and several other items are you know, still work in progress, so there are going to be Items are not either uh, either uh, not functional or not included yet, which will of course be included when they release it in a month or two. So let's contact ATC, uh, Nellis, and request startup. Springfield one one request startup. Springfield one one clear for startup. Wind one nine six at seven meters per second. Alrighty then. So now let's go oh, back to the parent. Back one, let's go to uh, our ground crew and we're going to ask for air supply, not the band, and we're going to connect it. Copy. Thank you. 
And now we'll come back in again, back to ground crew. And now we're going to go to air supply again, and we're going to apply it. And now we'll see the uh, left engine Copy. start to spool up. And when it gets to about 1200, I'll go ahead and move the left throttle to idle and then press the starter. And now it's kicking over. Let me go ahead and close the canopy. It's going to be a little noisy. Now, I come to the outside. We'll see the ox doors open up. There we go. And now we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and get the right engine started. So go back to the radio, ground control, F8 air supply, and apply. Copy. And now we repeat the same process. Wait till about 1200. Move the throttle to start idle, and starter. OK, now that's kicking over. Okay, so basically the aircraft is started up now, and as you can see, it's you know very easy peasy lemon squeezy, uh, very straightforward. Uh, let's go ahead and contact the ground crew again and have them disconnect. So back to the menus and and disconnect. Copy. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and have them remove the wheel chocks as well. F8, and wheel chocks is four, and remove. Chief, remove the wheel chocks. Please. Copy. Thank you. Wheel chocks are now removed. Alrighty. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the other systems we'll go ahead and get uh, set up. So we can do a uh, light test. Oop, take that down. Do, 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 do. That all looks good. And we can go ahead and uh, set up our console lights. We'll set the beacon on. Very pretty. And we'll go ahead and put the engine lights on a bit. Let's crank up our formation lights, exterior nav lights, flight instruments a bit. And we don't really need the flood. Then moving up here, we'll enable the oxygen system. Uh, I'll put cross feed on. I have a central tank on, so we'll go ahead and enable that. That looks good. Pedal heat on, engine uh, anti ice on, comms auto, blah, blah, blah. That looks good. Radar is not on, so we'll go ahead and move this to uh, standby mode. Let that start uh, getting cooled up. And up here, these are the controls for the different sightings, which we'll talk about in a later video, uh, but for now, I'll just put it on to the um, uh, air one. And we can go ahead and adjust the brightness of that. There we go. And then down here, we'll go ahead and uncage the backup ADI, landing gear, uh, weapon systems. And oh, this is my favorite things. So go ahead and raise the uh, front gear strut. And then coming back to standby, we'll go ahead and put the dampeners on for pitch and roll. 
and might as well go ahead and hit the uh, chaff and flutter dispensers to release single. I don't need to worry about the circuit breakers back there. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll taxi out to the runway and take off, but uh, first let me contact ETC. Now let's request taxi to runway. Springfield, one, one, request taxi to runway. Alrighty, okay. So thankfully the F5E has noticeable steering and we don't have to worry about differential uh, main gear steering, which is uh, a joy in itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and advance the throttle and get us rolling. And then I'm gonna hold down the uh, nose wheel steering uh, pedal switch and then use the rudders to steer in the direction I want to go. some lovely aggressor skins. And in addition to, these are all just the uh, US skins. There's a bunch of other skins uh, Belson Tech is working on uh, for other countries. Uh, in particular, I've seen the South Korean skin, the, there's Canadian skin. Oh, there's a MiG-28 skin over here. Oh. And I think they're planning a uh, Swiss skin and a whole bunch. And I would imagine that, uh, you know, once it's a little further along, they'll go ahead and release the um, uh, template files for the textures to allow our very talented community to create some custom skins as well. And we have another set of uh, kind of all classic uh, uh, Vietnam type era uh, skin for the F5 here. Oh, a little fast on the throttle. And I'm not going to bother worrying about uh, takeoff clearance right now. And in uh, some later live streams, I'll go ahead, I think next, take a look at the uh, navigation and landing. And then after that, we'll take a look at air to air and then some air to ground action. Okay, wind up on zero three. Okay, check it over. Oh, caution light down here, what is that? Engine anti-ice on, okay, that's fine. Everything else looks okay. So I'll go ahead and advance the throttles to full afterburner and I'll get this bird up in the air. And I'll rotate about 175 knots. You are cleared for takeoff already. Climb 300 at QFE 28.04. Okay, airborne. Raise the gear. Raise the flaps all the way. Actually, I think. And that's all there really is to starting up the F5, taxiing, and taking off. As you can see, it's a very uh, simple aircraft to um, 
you know, get up in the air. Uh, really not a whole lot to it, which I think will probably make a lot of people happy. Fortunately, I do not have the air brake uh, mapped to my HOTAS right now, so the brakes are out. Okay, that, my friends, is a first introduction to the F5 that I hope when you get the early access, it'll help you um, a little bit in terms of getting the aircraft up and running. Anyhow, have a great weekend, and I will see you next time. Thanks.